This video is about unit rate and goes along with CPM chapter 7, section 1, lesson 3 for 6th grade. Let's start by defining unit rate. Unit rate is simply a rate where the denominator is 1. So what happens if we have a ratio or a rate like this one where you have 35 miles over 5 hours or we could even say it like we've been talking about in class, 35 miles per 5 hours. Okay. I, initially, I would change it so we have it 35 miles, and I would write that as a fraction over 5 hours. And then really what we're doing is we're just looking at the numbers here, and we're simplifying those. Okay, So I know that 35 divided by 5 is 7, so then I'm going to end up with 7 miles, and then I divided 35 by 5 in order to get here, so I need to do the same. And remember, I want my denominator to be 1 anyway. So then I have 1 hour. When you're looking at this, also notice that hours changes to hour, where we don't have anything in there. Okay. Uh, another way you could look at it is if you have your 35 miles over 5 hours, you can use that giant one, knowing that you want 1 hour at the end. And how do you get from 5 to 1? We're going to divide. Uh, really, you're multiplying it by one fifth, um, but we can say divided here. Okay, so we're dividing it by five fifths, and that's where we're able to get into our seven miles a second way. Try the next problem on your own. If we have one hundred twenty-five dollars per twenty-five pounds, how would we do it? I started by copying it, $125 per 25 pounds, or over 25 pounds, or divided by 25 pounds. And I know that I want to get from 25 pounds to 1 pound, and I do that by dividing 25 over 25, which is a giant 1, or multiplying it by 1 25th. 125 divided by 25 is 5, 25 divided by 25 is 1, and you use the same units, so dollars and pounds. Try one more. Uh, imagine you're driving down the road and you see 49 cats uh, on the side of the road or walking down the street, I don't care, um, over seven miles. How many cats did you see per mile? When I solved this, I was just looking at the numbers here because I know my labels are going to stay exactly the same uh, with the exception of the S for my denominator. So I did 49 divided by 7, which gives me 7, and I know I need 1 as my denominator. That might be a good shortcut to help you. Um, so you can look at it that way, and you would know that you saw seven cats over one mile. 